Hey, 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 what's up, world? She brought G Shrimp, everybody, favorite baby daddy, what's up, the street man? And today we in, boop, boop, we in Chicago, y'all. So we go take it all the way back to May 10th, 2007, y'all. This is the story of Blair Hope, a 16 year old teenager who was shot and killed on a CTA bus. I'm gonna let y'all hear some of this and then I'm gonna come back with uh, what I remember about this case, y'all. The first view is from a currency exchange at 103rd in Halstead. Notice the young gunman, Michael Mario Pace, waiting for the bus. He gets on quickly. Now from inside the bus, Pace opens fire with a handgun. Another view, the horrified passengers hit the deck to avoid the gunfire that would wound five of them and kill Blair Holt. Seconds later, Pace gets off the bus, turns, and runs away. Inside the bus, Holt slumps to the floor, fatally wounded. Holt's family had to watch the video in court today. It wasn't easy. I had to do that. That was for me as his mom. If he was strong enough to give his life for somebody else, I was strong enough to sit there and endure what I had to see. Now, let me y'all show y'all something else, y'all. This is what they did. They honored the boy and gave him a street. All this just connected. Ten years ago today, a brave Southside teenager died protecting a friend from gunfire. Blair Holt's memory was honored outside his high school this morning. CBS 2's Jim Williams was there. Rick Ron Johnson is a student at Julian High School, and his education here has included the story of a 16-year-old boy who walked these same halls. When you hear the name Blair Holt, what do you know about him? Um, I heard many stories. He was a brave student at Julian. A brave student, an innocent victim, Blair Holt was shot to death, shielding a friend on a CTA bus 10 years ago today. Smart. He's about his business, education. Outside the school this morning, a street sign was unveiled in Blair's honor. His mother called the pain after a decade unbearable. It is to lose a child and lose your only child, but just to lose your legacy that you put so much into for something that didn't have to happen. Annette Holt and Ron Holt now devote much of their lives trying to stop Chicago's violence and has stayed close to Julian High School students. When I see them, I see Blair's spirit. A spirit that inspires a peace group at Julian. Raekwon Johnson is a member. I see girls every day, I see drugs every day, so it's kind of, I've kind of adapted to it, but it's just, I'm not, I don't want to live that life. This fall, he'll head downstate for college. I'm going to major in kinesiology. On visits home, Raekwon will look up at Blair Holt Way. Every time I look at that, I'm just going to remember everything that I learned in Julian. Blair Holt was an honor student at Julian who wanted to attend Clark Atlanta University. Blair's parents have provided scholarships to Julian students. Rob and Erica Blair's killer, who fired into that crowded CTA bus, was sentenced to 100 years in prison. And that was talking about his legacy, losing the legacy, but he's created a legacy. This is one of those cases, we're talking about 10 years later, that everybody remembers. For some reason, it touched so many people. James. Touched so many people because of his... Now, anyway, yeah, so that was the story of Blair Holt, y'all. What I remember about him... He was 16 years old. He went to Julian. So he got on the bus, him and some of his friends. The person who shot and killed him name was Michael Pace. Michael Pace was shooting at some of his ops on the bus, y'all. So he got on the bus and just started shooting. Blair Hope sent them first and was like, look out. He was shielding a woman and he pushed her out the way and jumped in the way and bam, bam, bam. He ended up getting hit and so did five other people. He was the only one who died though, young. And that was in 2007. Ten years later, they honored him at the school. They start, His parents started giving out scholarships because they remember him and uh, they're trying to help the students. His daddy was a Chicago police officer. 
his name is Juan Ho. He was a Chicago police officer and uh, he was hurt, man, but he was proud of his son because he was a hero that day. They said he pushed the person out the way and he died for somebody else. You know, you have people, they reflex are like that. They they have no fear. They ain't thinking about themselves at the time. All they thinking about, oh, look out, and they pushed him out the way. He pushed a woman out the way and he ended up dying for it. Now, Michael Pace received a hundred years, y'all, in jail. A hundred years. But the judge made a statement and kind of talked about the case and he shouldn't have made them statements because you don't supposed to have an opinion. When you're a judge, you just the court. You pass the sentence down, but all that extra, you don't supposed to be leaving comments and things. And he said something that they feel was inappropriate. So they re-sentenced the boy. They brought him back, and then they dropped 25 years off. They gave him 75 years. So he's still going to be gone a long time, but the courts be trying to right some of the wrongs that they make, especially high-profile cases. Somebody like me and you, mm -mm. but when something got attention like that, national you know, attention like this, a lot of publicity on it. A lot of eyes on cases like this, they got to watch them. And uh, they be trying to do things right because their career is on the line too. Especially when they come back across your desk, when people be filing for appeals and they be trying to do things over, they pull other judges and things into it. Mm. That's crazy that that boy died like that. So they, uh, name a street in his honor still they put it right there in front of the school and that young man y'all here talk they was talking to he goes to the school now all you can remember is the rumors and things you hear even the kids that didn't even know him 10 15 20 years later still hear the rumors about the boy and some of them were young probably was at home watching this on tv i remember like it was yesterday i sent it and i'm like damn it ain't like he's a police son, but it don't matter who your parents is, that do not exclude you from violence. Things happen. You can tell your kid everything to do right, but they still have to walk these streets on their own, y'all. And even when they ain't doing nothing wrong, they still can end up in trouble. Sometimes just being in the wrong place at the wrong time will get you in trouble. But you talk about a high school student that was at school and on his way home. How could he be in the wrong place? He wasn't. It's was just the gang violence surrounding the school. And this boy who, Michael Pace, he was 16 too, y'all. He was 16 too, so he was a juvenile, but they charged him as an adult and gave him their 75 years, you know. And make you think, y'all, the young people, I be trying to give y'all this game and let y'all know these are the cases that don't nobody talk about. You don't hear this in rap songs. You don't never hear nothing like this in a rap song talking about, hey, you go get 75 years, 100 years. Can you imagine a boy was 16 years old and got 100 years? Don't you know that, man? You would never do that. If You, you would never do 100 years, bro. Even if they cut it in half, you're not going to do it. That's crazy, y'all. And then it used to be 50% of your time. No, it's 85% now. It's 85%. So it used to be you get 30 years, you do 15, you coming on home. Mm -mm. It ain't like that no more. It's 85%. So you kids remember that when you're out here just shooting and doing things, you representing the block, all that cool, but all that shit gonna go away when it's time to go see them people. All them guys you was riding from, they ain't gonna be in court. They not gonna send you your money. Who gonna be there? Your mother, your father, your brother's family members like that. Maybe you have a few solid people that'll deal with you. But I guarantee you, if you had a hundred niggas, all of them ain't going to ride like that. Mm -mm. You might have three or four that messed with you the long way that send you money and help you out. The rest of them, eventually, ten years later, they'll benefit got you. I had a partner that went, did 30 years. He died in jail, y'all. He caught five murders in one night. He shot up a lounge 
and uh, he ended up catching that case. I was writing the man, would you believe I wrote the man one time, it was like 10 years later, and the man said, I thought y'all had forgot about me, man. He said, I feel like a blast from the past. I'm like, no, I held him down all while he was doing his time, y'all. He knew when I was doing good, and he knew when I was doing bad. When I was selling dope and had money rolling in, I would always send him money, always send him money. I had my wife sending him money. And it was because he was one of my original guys that grew up with us, you know. So I held him down. He can't get no money. He's stuck in jail. But a lot of people don't keep it solid like that no more. People do not do that, you know. So the best way to do it for you younger people, don't get caught in a jam. Don't get caught in a jam. Ain't nobody said you guys got to be a stepper. Nobody said that. I'm pretty sure if it's a hundred gang members, they got enough steppers. You don't have to be one of them. You could be the one, go to work or do something different, but you do not have to be a killer. You know, sometimes you have too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Man, please. Please. Sometimes you got to do what you do and do not follow everybody else. Do not follow everybody else. Do what you need to do to survive. Because remember that. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp. Everybody fade baby daddy voice of the street. I'm a plant you now, dig you later. Hit that like button, y'all, and subscribe to the channel. It don't cost you nothing. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Help me get there, y'all. Remember, it don't cost you nothing to subscribe. I'm out of here.